This is Persona on the PSP, a role-playing and strategy game in the Shin Megami Tensei series from Atlas. What the? Yukino! I think that the number one on that kid's scarf means that he's Speed Racer's number one fan. Nobody could pull off a scarf like Speed Racer. If you're familiar with the other Shin Megami and Tensei games like Devil Summoner 2, Devil Survivor, sit back, watch the differences in this one. I am Philemon, a dweller between consciousness and unconsciousness. Persona is different than the other Shin Megami Tensei games I've reviewed. This one is a glorified dungeon crawler, albeit a very fancy one. It's tough to review Persona after reviewing Devil Survivor on the Nintendo DS and Devil Summoner 2 on the PlayStation 2 because those are two of the most imaginative, well-made, fun games I've played in a long time. Persona is okay. Persona is a complex turn-based strategy game where you take characters into battle with different personas, which are very similar to the whole demon thing from the other games in the Shin Megami Tensei series. You can negotiate with the enemies, or you can attack them. Negotiating is boring, so attacking them is the way to go. You would negotiate to get new personas or scare off demons to avoid battle or freak them out. I like turn-based strategy games, and there's a lot of options and a lot of different things that you can do when encountering enemies in Persona. And that's the fun part. The demons are always wildly imaginative, and you may, you may run into them several times so you become more familiar with what kind of attacks work on what kind of demons. And the game gets much harder as you play through it, especially when you start encountering some of the, some of the real bad guys. Where the game falls a little flat for me is that you don't move during any of the battle sequences. It's turn-based strategy where you set your party's formation and then just launch attacks back and forth. Battles can take a long time, and trying to negotiate with the enemy also takes a long time, and that's that's not the most exciting part. The, the battles are fun, they're challenging, they require you to think and plan ahead, but, but I'm sure you can tell I'm already a little lukewarm on this game. The problem with the battles is I really preferred how they did it in Devil Survivor on, on the Nintendo DS. And not that I expect this to be the same game, but I, I prefer a turn-based strategy game that takes place on a grid like the Front Mission games where you can move your characters around. So it doesn't feel like you're just staring at the same screen each time. And then there's the music. I searched for about a half hour to try to turn it off. Because, while this is subjective, the music is awful and repetitive and it's and it's pop music that plays over and over and over again during the battle sequences. You can't even hear the effects from the other characters fighting against you because the music is overpowering them. Now, maybe I just couldn't find the, the, the button to turn off the music, but I searched through every menu that I saw. Well, I don't, I don't want to beat the game up too much, because I do like the Shin Megami Tensei series games. They're, they're, they're quite creative and unlike other games out there. This just isn't the best one. But Persona is on PSP. However, if you have a PSP, you probably have a PlayStation 2, in which case, check out Devil Summoner 2 first. That game is ridiculously cool. The story in the game is alright, I mean, it doesn't really grab your attention as, as well as some of the other ones do. But the animation sequences, on the other hand, are incredible, so they are very cool to, to actually unlock and watch as you play through the game. Basically, there's some kind of business that's new in town, and there's these machines running at night, and they're doing something to the town. All of a sudden, demons appear everywhere. Your characters have been playing a game called Persona, where they're trying to unlock their hidden beings or monsters or whatever. And uh, that's about it. That's at least as, as much as I understand. I like stories that are very straightforward and easy to grasp. Like, Cookie Monster likes cookies. Got it. I can follow that one.
I'm going to unleash a massive wave of attacks on these guys. Go for it! Now that I have my characters more powered up, you gain experience in the game when you fight bad guys. Your personas also gain experience, and that's how you learn new spells. Persona. But seriously, this music does not fit a battle sequence. And the type font does not fit the style of the game either. They, they've just made some odd decisions when bringing this game over from Japan to the US market. Let's get funky! Like most traditional RPGs, you can also visit a store and buy various things to get to replenish your health and spell points. Also, you find weapons and armor in parts of the game. You can also adjust the difficulty level of the game going into it. I'm playing at the normal level. It starts off easy, but then the more you play, the more bad guys you encounter and the stronger they become, the more that you, as the player, have to actually think and use strategy. And that is the strength of Persona. If you like this kind of game, check it out. If you want to just dive into the Shin Megami Tensei series, I highly recommend Devil Summoner 2 on the PS2 and Devil Survivor on the DS. There's other ones out there. I haven't played them yet, but I'm going to.